Welcome back to another episode of Tarot and Investigation with your girl Chanel Black. Okay, today we are investigating the case of Gerald Power, a, a Jarrell Powell, age 25. He is now this case has happened in Rickland, Mississippi. Okay, I picked the case up um, because girl we overworked over here in the sbi okay the chanel black investigation team so it says a former university of mississippi and nfl player has been arrested in mississippi on kidnapping charges now it says jarrell powell oh okay it says he's 35 not 25 because i don't like to say wait hold up now this this child right here look way older than 25 but okay he's 35 okay thank you honey i like girl i need to go see an eye doctor i need some glasses but still you know it's a hard 35 but it says 35 he has remained jailed monday in the jackson suburb of ridgeland with no bail set it says it's unclear if he has a lawyer to speak for him it says the Rigland Police Chief Brian Mayers told the WLBT TV that Powell and another person was arrested on Thursday at a bank in the city. Now they says Mayer was said the kidnapping began in Laurel, which is 75 miles southeast of Jackson, and ended after the victim was able to contact the Richland police. Now, the, he said that the victim is safe, okay? So, the victim was, I, mean, I won't say he wasn't harmed or he or she wasn't harmed, but the person is safe right now. Also said that Powell is scheduled to make an initial a, appearance before a judge on Tuesday. Now, they said that Powell played defensive tackle for Ole Miss from 2008 to 2010. Now, they didn't tell me, they didn't say in the article exactly who he kidnapped was it a female was it a male was it a child was it an adult i mean isn't it is it still called kidnapping if it's an adult girl i don't know so we about to pull some cards and see what's going on with jarrell and this situation okay let's see what the cards can tell us i'm gonna start with the tarot for jarrell Okay, Divine Angels, if you could give me the best cards from this deck to describe the energy of Jarrell Power and his arrest. Okay, his kidnapping arrest. What happened? Give us more details. But we are so confused. What happened in this case with Jarrell Power? It seems like now the first card that came out is the Queen of Pentacles. And she's sitting up very pretty. It speaks of a woman over 25 years old. Maybe somebody with dark eyes and dark hair. Professional business domineering. So it seems like it's a woman with money. So I, I'm a, it, I, off top just kind of feel like she was a business owner. Somebody in the, um that he probably knew that had business. Now whether she, he claimed that she owed him money or not. But she, she got the dollars. She got the money. Okay. But it seems like she also is very, she's very domineering. She's, she's like nobody to play with, okay? But she's about her money as well. So, I don't know if she was dealing with him for a business deal and it went wrong. But it is saying that it is a woman that could possibly be over the age of 25. So, anything else you want to tell us about Jarrell? Why did he kidnap this person? Okay, now the cards that came out, it seemed like, oh, we got the High Priestess, which speaks about um, secrets, good or bad, to be revealed here. It's like something was discovered here, or maybe she had some information. A girl, I just picked up that she had the code to the uh, safe. Okay, I just automatically seen that. Okay, and then it's like we got the Tower with a catastrophe, an accident, things happening very fast at lightning speed, at lightning pace. Almost like a robbery, like a stick up. Yep. Then we got the death, death of a situation, an ending for a new beginning, for a come up. So I'm, I'm looking at this like this could have been a, a robbery. 
okay, or stick up that went bad. And it seemed like she may have, because she's the one to call the police. So it seemed like she got away, okay. And then for the fact that he and the person, his accomplice, okay, now he big and oversized already. And then he needs somebody to help him do his crime. Girl, that woman, I'm so, she had to be a uh, domineering. She had to be a boss to be able to get away from his big oversized self and then his accomplice. And then talking about they was found at a bank. Seemed like they may have possibly been trying to get this lady money out of her account or something. Okay. I don't know if they had her check or had something of hers. Okay. That only is privy to her. And they had it. Okay. And it seems like that caused, you know, their scheme to, to you know, that caused their whole little uh, scheme to kind of come crashing down. But then again, this tower can also be what they did to this woman. Give me more about this tower. Why is this tower here? For Jarrell. Okay. Uh, it seemed like somebody was carrying, carrying heavy burdens with this ten of wands. Being weighed down with problems. Um, honey, bills was due. And honey, he had to come up with a quick come up. And he came up with a plan. Let's go holler at Honey Teresa up there at the hair shop. Allegedly, I don't know what her name is. I'm just saying. Okay, give me more about this death card. And why was he having so many heavy burdens? Okay, and how is it Teresa problem? Let me know. Oh, yeah, we got the magician. Yeah, he came up with a plan. Like, some type of plan. Okay. Um, it's And then it's like an element of surprise. So, it could have been an uh, impromptu plan. Like, girl, they didn't think it all the way through. It's like an element surprise. This is the second time, good or bad, the element surprise kept on popping up. Now, I don't know if he was showing up as trying to be a friend to Teresa. I don't know why I'm calling this lady Teresa, but being a friend to her and then shocked her. Okay, we got a young man to 25 years old. Uh, visited her with a message to share. Somebody come in with money. I don't know if they came in and tried to make a deal with Teresa or tried to, you know, came up with a plan. Let's say, to, let's say if Teresa is a business owner and she owns real estate so here goes somebody coming in making an offer somebody coming in trying to make a sale okay but being sneaky at the same time because they broke then we got the um high event. it's like some type of government or public company maybe a marriage a body corporation an official building or official situation again that's giving me bank okay i do know the bank was here in the, in the um reading so yeah, I'm seeing like they had they had heavy burdens. Now with the ones, it seemed like heavy burdens when it comes around to something that you're passionate about. Maybe you passionate. Maybe he's struggling in the business. He probably struggling in the business or or struggling to find employment. Maybe even struggling. It was some type of heavy burdens that he was carrying, and he was sick of carrying them, honey. So he came up with some type of magical plan. Okay, or he tried to manifest something. Okay, now it seems like it could have been a business opportunity. Now you're going to come in with a, trying to make a business deal with this one coin, baby. You're going to need more coins than that. But um, we got the hyphen here. Like it could have been something, I, again, if it's bank related, did he, did he rob the lady? It seemed like he robbed the lady. But they didn't say nothing about robbery. Okay, give me more about this hierophant. Why is this hierophant here? Um, maybe some type of fraudulent stuff, though. It seems like something sneaky. Okay, some type of host playing a wish card. Okay, that you tried to make come true in a sneaky way. So, I don't know if he... Some fraudulent documents or something. But it's definitely somebody... He was playing and scheming. Okay, I don't know if he's trying to scheme this lady out of her money. Okay, and it turned bad. It's like it turned bad out the blue. And and probably got frustrated. And it's like he was trying to work it as some type of scheme. Or do, some type of scheme. And then the scheme probably went bad. Okay, he got frustrated with Teresa. He was like, you know what? Just give me a freaking pen number and I'll go get it. That type of thing. I get it myself. You coming with me. You give me the pen. And it's like, okay, now this kidnapping. Okay. And because you probably didn't get none at the bank, it's probably the reason why I didn't turn to robbery. But, baby, this is kidnapping, baby. I didn't want to go. Okay. So, let's see. Give me more about this situation with Jarrell Jer Powell. Give me more. What do I need to know about this situation with Jarrell? 
and his arrest. Yeah, it's official, girl. They did something at the bank. So, we got here. Girl, sudden wealth, okay? Yeah, it was a business opportunity, honey. It was one that he he couldn't refuse. At least he thought. And it was like sudden wealth. He was like a lit, like lucky. This right here is like lucky, like hitting the lottery. Um, money coming in all of a sudden, okay? So, it's a sudden plan. It's a sudden type of come up, okay? And it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, well, you do it. You're going to be in court. We got adjudication. Now, this could be somebody being sued. There's somebody um, going in front of a, a judge. This can be somebody going in front of a third party. They kind of need a, uh, like, a, almost like a real estate deal um, where you need, you know, somebody to officially sign documents. Okay. It could be a real estate investment gone wrong. Okay, and you're trying to force somebody to pay something and a deal didn't officially close and you still trying to say where my money is like, dude, this is not a hood way of doing things. Uh, the business protocol takes like 40 something days to close on the property. You can't get your check the next day. So it's, it could be also, you know, having to go and speak with somebody like, a, I don't want to say a counselor. It's like um, arbitration or something like that. Okay. But then we got this wealthy man in the bank, okay, making a deposit or making a withdrawal, taking money out, okay. It's, it's still giving me investments. It could be some type of real estate investments, okay. He wanted the money fast. And the girl, girl, the main female said the check don't come in until 40 days. He said he ain't got 40 days. The power bill is due now. It's past due. So, it seems like it, it's a business deal, honey. And, girl, it's giving me that he owns something. It's like, you own something. It's like, boy, you know the house don't close until 40 days. 30 to 40 days. I told you that. And But you're acting all paranoid and impatient right now. And then it's like things got out of the hand with the Tyra moment. It got out of the hand to the point that, you know, you couldn't even wait to go to, um, to speak with the judge on Monday. Okay? You said you're going to get your money before the weekend. It's over. And that's how we ended up here. Okay. Now, give me the best card from this deck to describe what Jarrell, his mindset when he kidnapped this lady. What was his mindset? And what he needs to know, honey. What he, honey. Now that, if that ain't him all day, the boar, that's him. The cars ain't lying. Okay. It says facial problems head on with confidence and courage. And it says you will emerge victorious. It says facial problems head on. You should have faced the power bill head on instead of going to this lady. This, this lady ain't got nothing to do with it. But he should have faced this problem head on. Okay. With your big oversized self. Next we got stand up for yourself and speak your truth. And, and speak your your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome. Okay. Big polar bear. Again, big oversized polar bear. Okay. This is how you should have handled himself instead of doing what he did. Okay. Thinking irrationally. We got the mountain goat. It says there's something out of balance in your life. Okay. Especially mentally. So do whatever you need to do to correct it. Yeah. There's something. It's some type of imbalance that was, you know, in his head. I don't know if this deal he just could not wait. Okay. He was frustrated. Then we got the cardinal. It says the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and your physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. So it's like he was pig headed. Okay. And went in headstrong. Okay, to the situation with the polar bear. Trying to go in and be strong, headstrong, doing things the incorrect way. When he could have just been standing up for himself and speaking properly, okay, with compassion. And then he could have handled the situation. But no, it went to the far to the left because there's some there's an imbalance in him, okay. And there's some type of um, difference between spiritual and his physical pleasures, okay. So it, it's almost like... 
mentally he had some type of mental issues click, kicked in and then it says physical pleasures with somebody that he may have been attracted to he may have been attracted to this lady okay attracted to her business sense and things just went when when the mental break happened things just went to the left okay it just real fast so and it seemed like he could if if it wasn't for this mental break whatever happened here you know if he would just stood up you know he could have went to court and everything would have came out victorious for him but you know ain't nothing about to come out victorious for him for him crossing the line you cross the line trying to force somebody trying to be bullheaded and pigheaded okay and force somebody to do something and that's called kidnapping okay well you thought you was doing a good business deal baby should night you better know, ask should night what kind of business deals you in where you go when you do business deals like that you go to prison okay well, girl, I ain't trying to teach nobody no life lessons, honey. You done did what he done did. So that's the um, terror investigation for Jarrell Powell, okay? It seemed like it was a business deal that went wrong, honey, and Jarrell tried to force somebody to go to the bank and sign documents and pay out, and it's like, that's not how it works, okay? And if you try to force anything other than how it goes, baby, you're doing an illegal transaction. So that's going to be the end for this reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.